Hey guys, Baxa here. I just want to point out something really quick before I get onto that review, and that's that the uh, Baron's M4 6 and CQB, as I'm sure the Maze MP7 mod, has a little epic tag at the top left of it, which is pretty cool actually. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys really soon. Hey guys, it's Baxa here doing a review for you guys on the Baron's M4 16 CQB. Uh, this gun is uh, tagged as an epic gun, which there are two in the game, this and Maze MP7 mod, uh, both of which are very very good um, compared to their um, NX standard uh, and their GP variants. Anyway, so um, I just finished looking at the stats of the Baron's M416 CQB and I was pretty astonished at how much better it was than the NX standard uh, CQB, M416 CQB. <clears throat> the Baron's uh, M416. I'm I'm gonna say MP7 Maze MP7 mod somewhere in this review. I just know it when I'm when I really want to say Barons, because almost every single time I've went to go say it, I've almost said Maze MP7 mod. Anyway, the Baron CQB has 42 point damage, which is extremely high um, for this type of low recoil gun. Um, extremely high. Um, the CQB M416 CQB, the NX standard, has a 39 point damage which was pretty strong for it already considering how low the recoil was. I remember when they came out with the M416 camo and M416 CQB camo, I thought, whoa, the damage is way too high. So then now there's this gun which is like even better. Anyways, and that's only that's only one aspect of the gun that's pretty amazing. Um, it has a 70 point portability which is like my mind still baffled by this uh, by this aspect of the gun. Um, the CQB, the M416 CQB, the NX standard, has a 66 point portability and when that and when this gun came out it was, it was the fastest assault rifle in the game that you could run with and it has been for a very long time. Um, now the Baron's M416 CQB is out with a 70 point portability which is four points better. It is literally almost an, SM, an SMG. It's almost as fast as a submachine gun. Like the UMP itself has a 75 point portability, so it's only five points worse. But it's also four points better than its CQB NX variant. So it's somewhere in the middle between the two, which is like really awesome. It runs so fast. I noticed that right away. Um, the accuracy is the same though. It has an 80 point accuracy, which is the same as the uh, M460 CQB, the NX standard. So uh, not much to say about that there. It's actually pretty... Sorry, I'm yawning. A little tired. Um, it's a little bit on the low side. Um, the accuracy for most assault rifles, most average assault rifles. Which isn't really disappointing or anything because it still works really well. So it really has really tight spread. Uh, maybe the range in the damage drop-off is a little bad when it gets to really long ranges like Snow Valley or any, any map like that. Maybe even Kill Creek or something. Not that you should be using this gun at Kill Creek. <laughs> Well, long distances anyway. Anyway, and so it also has the same recoil as the M416 CQB, the NX standard. Um, it has a 63 point recoil, which again, I'm going to point out that the recoil stats on the in the arsenal, which is where I got all this information, um, don't really mean much to me exactly, uh, because I've one of the first things I noticed, other than running with the gun as soon as I had it, I was like, what the hell, this thing is light. Um, I noticed the first thing when I started shooting is that its recoil is actually lower than the M416 CQB. And you may be wondering why or how I know this. Um, I use the M416 CQB a lot. It's my second most used gun next to the G36E, so I know how it feels. Um, the recoil isn't noticeable when you're not shooting without when you're not in scope but when you go in scope with the iTech scope and you go full auto like that's full auto it doesn't move uh, from the spot it's a lot like an SG 556 camo so I was kinda baffled by that I'm like oh my god so the only thing that was keeping the M416 CQB a little bit balanced is that if you're going full auto eventually after maybe six or seven rounds it would start going left and right a bit and this gun still does that. The Baron's M416 CQB still does that, but it's it takes a lot longer and it's not as um, not as strong. So it just goes up and down a lot more and for a lot longer. Well, not a lot longer, just actually several rounds longer. But <laughs> several rounds is long enough to 
more than get like an extra kill in there. Um, anyway, this gun is very amazing, but it's also extremely rare, and you probably most people won't ever ever even get to open one. You might get to you might get to pick it up if someone dies or something, but you, you most likely won't ever get to pick it up considering how many guns are in the, the Mist End case now. Um, if you get it, lucky you. Um, congratulations. If you get it for more than a day, super lucky. Congratulations. The only sad thing is that um, I wanted to review this gun before I went on vacation, and the only sad thing is I've only played like two or three games with it, and I'm probably not going to play anymore because I'm spending the rest of the day making this review, uploading it, rendering it, etc., along with the Subsonic um, DSR1 Subsonic review that I have to upload. So, um, and then I have to get packing, obviously, and stuff. So I'm kind of a little sad that I didn't get to play as much as as much as I wanted with it, but that's okay. I'm not exactly saddened over it because I don't think of it as um, like something I'm really missing out on. Because honestly, it's still not the best gun in the game. The M416 CQB Barons, the Barons Epic. It's still not the best gun in the game, in my opinion. I'd still rather have a G36E Valkyrie um, in most cases. That being said, the Baron's M416 CQB is not balanced at all, and it's actually overpowered, and I'll say that for once. Uh, this gun is overpowered. Um, if you get it, you're extremely lucky, but the gun is only as good as its user, so I don't care really who has it. Um, honestly, I could shoot someone down pretty easily with the G36E if they had this against me, even if they were very good. So, um, yeah. But that being said, the gun is really good, like I said before, but it, it is really good. Like The recoil baffled me, and the portability and everything about it. Oh, I forgot to mention that it has a f uh, 35, uh, 105 ammo capacity um, cartridge, or whatever you want to call it, I guess, clip. Magazine, actually. <laughs> clip. Anyway, it's a magazine, and it says a 305, 105 magazine, which is amazing. And I put an extended clip number one in it, or extended magazine number one, giving it 405 slash 95, or 45 95, which is really helpful. I noticed that too when I was shooting people. It lasted so much longer. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, hopefully I can do some reviews when I get back. I'm going to start school really soon when I get back, so reviews might not come out as often as I would like, but they eventually probably just might as well end up happening because I probably will get bored from working and I'll want to play Comet Arms or something. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this review and uh, I'll see you guys next time.